On our farm, we have two stages of turkeys. So the turkeys in the brooder barn, the small birds that are just over a week old, have a different diet of food compared to our large birds that are over 13 weeks of age. They have free access to a pellet that is more fine when they are younger and then becomes coarser as they grow. They always have access in automatic feeders. We put additional feeders out when they are quite young to make sure that they can find food. They always have access to food and we make sure that it's clean and nutritionally balanced for their needs. The most important thing for consumers to know is that any protein that is in a grocery store, whether it be from our turkey farm, does not have antibiotics in it. There are very specific rules around that. And yes, on our farm, if an animal was to be sick or if our turkeys were sick, we would get a prescription from a veterinarian in order to administer an antibiotic through the feed or through the water, but then there's a withdrawal period and then before they were to go be shipped from our farm to the grocery store, we would there would be no antibiotics in any of that meat. In the 11 years that we have been turkey farming, there has been a reduction of the use of antibiotics on our farm and for all turkey farms across Canada. And we're really proud of how we're able to use preventative measures such as uh, improved environment through feed, through water, and again, just through their overall living conditions. We can use less and less antibiotics as time goes on. Feed is an interesting thing because when we first got into turkey farming, you obviously thought that the highest ration was the best ration and you went with that, but then as you gained more knowledge, you started to realize that you needed to use your senses and watch the birds. You could tell if some of them were off and then you would adjust the ration based on that, not necessarily just what was regular for everybody else. So you kind of had to take your own environment, your own scenarios and your own crop of birds and make those changes of the ration so that you could see the changes in the bird. What people don't always realize is that there's a lot of science that goes into farming. And there's different aspects of how science impacts agriculture. And so we can start and look at the science behind the poult. And over the years, uh, poults or the young turkeys have been developed and selected that are going to have strong ability to grow quickly and convert that feed as efficiently as possible into meat. So as farmers, we want to provide the most nutritionally balanced food for those turkeys to grow as efficiently as possible. Having said that, we want to make sure that those turkeys are raised in an environment that is healthy, that they can live a very active life, and at the same time, we're also meeting food, and consumers care about the price of food. So we're trying to find the balance between meeting consumer demands for what that price of food ultimately costs, at the same time as raising turkeys as efficiently as possible so that their sustainability by which we raise the birds and their health standards are never compromised through the growing period.